Hi, I'm Leslie and I'm a set of bone tailoring. Um, I'm also a cobbler and I make handmade shoes. But today I'm gonna focus in on alterations and making something that you have in your closet a little bit more in trend with fringe. I think it's really important as fashion tends to change that we build our staples and then we accentuate through accessories and embellishments. For this project, I pulled an inspiration. Um, so I just like to have the reference handy. So I went to the store and I bought this fringe. And you can get it in different lengths. And then I just got one that this is a six inch length. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add it onto a basic cami. So I wanna have about four panels on here. And take your ruler and some chalk. And then using the armpit holes, just draw a line across. And this is gonna be your first guide. And then in the center, you want to draw another dot about four inches down. So one, two, three, four. And then you're going to draw another one four inches down. One, two, three, four. And another one. One, two, three, four. And then you're going to go to both sides and do the same thing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then here on the other side, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then this is gonna be your guide. So you can line your ruler back up and then match up the sides. And the reason I like to do it in the middle is because sometimes the shirt will move around while you're measuring it. This will help give you a better guide all the way across. So now that you have these lines drawn, you can take your fringe, and I like to start from the bottom and work the way, my way up. And I like to take it and set it out and cut it just maybe an inch on either side because we're gonna turn that under. Mm -hmm. Oops, <laughs> don't forget to cut the bottom. And the last one on top. Okay, now that I have my four pieces cut, I can start sewing them and tacking them. So it's gonna be my first row, my second row, in my third row, and I'm gonna work on my fourth row right now. So just line this up, and you take your pins, and I wanna put a little bit of this under, just so it has a clean finish. That's why you cut it an inch. So take it to the seam, and pin it. And make sure that you're pinning inside the garment not all the way through, otherwise you won't be able to get inside of it. And having this line is a really nice as a guide to make sure your tape here stays straight. Okay, should look like this. With this type of tape, uh, you wanna use uh, parallel stitches I like to use a double needle. Um, they make a universal wide needle, so it allows you to sew two, two stitches at the same time, parallel, um, or you can just go back and stitch it with a single stitch. This is just nice for decorative top stitching as well, or if you're working with denim or things where you have a tape that you're putting as a top stitch, it keeps you from having to go back and stitch it twice. Use a straight stitch length of three and a half millimeters and the needle down option. Just start stitching. Give yourself a back stitch. And just make sure to pull the tassel out, otherwise it'll get stuck underneath your machine. Make sure not to stretch the camisole underneath if it is stretchy, otherwise it will start making waves.
And it's nice to have this guideline all the way through that we drew. So while you're working, if your pins aren't as close together, like mine were not, uh, then you can still correct it as you're sewing. And it's okay if you pull a little bit. I did that and now my end's a little bit shorter, but that's why we left an inch on either side. So um, now I can just move the bottom here and pin it back in place. And that should make up for the little bit that I ended up pulling on the fabric. So then you're gonna do the same thing and just keep repeating this all the way up. If you want really thick fringe, go ahead and add some more lines in here. Um, for me, I think about four is gonna be good. Uh, now that I'm finished uh, sewing and I don't need these guidelines anymore, I can just take a light iron and press over this. You're gonna wanna put a pressing cloth over it because of the uh, little fringe, but I'm also gonna show you how to pull the fringe. So on one side, there should be a tail and it's actually just chain stitched. You can unknot it, it's really hard to see, but once you find it, you can literally just pull it and the whole thing comes out. So now it's not stuck together. To continue my look, I wanted to add more fringe onto a skirt. So take the fringe again and you're gonna put it on this side and it's gonna be technically face to face. So you'll want to pin this down And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stitch it um, and then we'll turn it over like this and then we'll top stitch it. So let me get this pinned and then I'll go through that. But this part is super easy. We're just adding a little bit more fringe to our outfit. So now that I have the bottom of my skirt pinned, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and sew it. When you line it up to pin it, leave about an inch on either side and that way you can turn it under and just have a nice clean finish. Again, I'm working with my double needle and just making sure that I don't get any fringe cut into my stitches. So once you sew these on, um, you're basically gonna flip it down and then top stitch along here. So you have a really nice clean finish and it's, it'll be encased behind here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch my machine to a single needle again and then work with, with just one needle. So I can actually pull one of my threads out and then take my needle out and then just getting a single needle. And if you stop, like I keep having to to adjust the fringe, make sure that you're using your wheel and putting your needle all the way down to give you a pivotal point and you don't slide your fabric out. Oh, there we go. Thank you so much for tuning in. For more tips and tricks with 7th Bone Tailoring, log on to www.weallsew.com, which has exclusive videos and other tutorials to show you and guide you through some upcycling and alterations.